to welcome to the revival time broadcast we're so thrilled and delighted that you have tuned us in inside and externally therefore i declare the blessings of the lord inside the house tonight and those who have joined us technologically across the nation and around the world i bless you in the name of the lord so by the grace of god we're giving the wind a mighty voice prophetically i'm in a hurry i said prophetically i'm in a hurry so by means of 21st century technology that God has put in my hands follow me now into a bird and remove it destroying devil defeating praise 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 celebration Again, we thank you and bless you and welcome you to the Sunday night service. Thanks to my covenant partners who are here. I told you yesterday that everything we do is bound by a covenant. My baptism is in a covenant. Thy vows, O God, are upon me. A vow I will never break unto death. My marriage is a covenant marriage. I covenant myself to my wife and she has covenanted, her, covenanted herself to me that we live together unto death. Am I talking to anybody here? I covenant to be in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. I covenant myself to preach the word all the days of my life. I covenant myself to give him worship and give him praise all the days of my life. And I thank him for his enduring power. Give him a mighty clap offering. Give him a mighty praise. And be seated in your father's house. Many of you have come then to be my partner for years. You have prayed for me, given to the ministry. Worship with us. I thank you so very much. And I want to thank you for letting me into your house and whatever time you will watch this broadcast on facebook on social media thank you so very much call a friend text a friend and tell him your man of god is always coming with a prophetic revolutionary word that triggers faith alive where miracles can take place here is my announcer tonight to bless up some very special people who have been our partners and who are seeking our help in prayer and counseling whatever god bless you come on give the lord a mighty praise praise the name of jesus somebody shout out the name of jesus another time come on somebody lift up the name of jesus for he has done wonderful things unto us the psalm is declared from psalm the verse one on to thee O god do we give thanks for that thy name is near thy wondrous works declared has god done some wonderful things in your life that's not convincing has god done some wondrous things in your lives i know that god has done wondrous things in my life because i'm still standing hallelujah to the name of jesus to god be the glory great things he has done and it is indeed a privilege to have you join us for revival time and we know that god has been doing awesome in your lives your testimony has spoken volume to the blessing and the release that god is pouring in your lives and today we just want to bless you for contacting revival time and letting us know how this broadcast has been a blessing in your life so from out of Westmoreland this week we want to pray with you and we want you to know that God is on the job and he's doing everything and working overtime to bring you your victory Paulette and Geneva we are praying with you Marcia Diane Joan Sophia Oshin Tracy and the son Monique Megan and family from out of Trelawney, Revival Time reaches Gillette and Simone.
Renee, Deandra, Sister Brooks, Jacqueline, Christine, Heather, Tanika, Naomi. May I say to you today to the keep declaring your miracle in the atmosphere for where your miracle is spoken it will be delivered amen praise the name of jesus from out of clarendon we're praying with you moya christine marcia rowan calicia sasha phyllis carlene shanoya and marie heather andrea amissi dorothy gambi douglas tamara bolton crystal and mark blessing is coming your direction speak to the east wind the north wind the south wind and let it release your divine miracle in jesus christ's name all our facebook family we want to know that we are happy and overwhelmed that you are on ear every time that we get online and we want to praise god with you Remember, we are partners in prayer, and you can call us if you need someone to back you up in prayer. Call us on our telephone lines, 984-4398-865-4357-281-4171. We have a new office line that you can call us. It's 648-3022. That's 648-3022. Two. Please call us. That's our office line. We're receiving calls on that line. Remember to text us on our direct line, 571-3777. That's 571-3777. Join us. We thank you all for your email that you have been sending to us at revivaltime70 at hotmail.com. Come. those who have not done so you know to do so today for those of you who are on facebook we're on facebook live and we welcome your comments and we welcome your support and those of you who can watch us on youtube we have pre-recorded messages on our youtube channel join us on cvm television every sunday morning there's a word waiting for your release at seven we want you to wake up and be a blessing 7 a.m every sunday morning on the cvm channel on the pbc you can guess it as eight to nine a.m on a saturday the morning it begins at 8 to 9 on radio we're on best fm it begins at 10 to 11 and there is a repeat broadcast at midnight for your soul's release we invite your friends the numbers of our accounts are on your screen you can go today we know that this broadcast has been a blessing in your lives so do so today join us on our account go wherever you need to go today and pledge that seed to us we want you to know that we are expecting you to be our hands extended as we spread the word of God across the world and around the nation. So the numbers are on your screen. Write them down today and go to the respective banks to do your deposit. We are waiting to hear from you. Friends today, all our supporting organization, we praise God for you. We bless you and we encourage you to continue to support the work of God. Stay tuned for a word that is coming your direction. And remember, friends, that you should never, ever feel discouraged because God is is on your side and he will do today for you what no one else can do because he is your jehovah god bless you in jesus name come on come on give god a praise everywhere in this house come on worship god everywhere in this house as we stand for the reading of god's holy word come on lift up your hands and give him praise come on give him worship hallelujah from the book of 2 Kings chapter 8, we read from verse 1 through to verse 6. Then spake Elisha unto the woman, whose son he had restored to life, saying, Arise, and go you and thy household, and sojourn wheresoever you can sojourn. For the Lord hath called for a famine, and it shall also come upon the land seven years and the woman arose and did after the saying of the man of god and she went with her household and sojourned in the land of the philistine seven years and it came to pass at the seven years end that the woman returned out of the land of the philistines and she went forth to cry unto the king for her, her house and for her land. Hallelujah. And the king talked with Gehazi, the servant of the man of God.
saying tell me tell me I pray thee all the great things that Elisha hath done and it came to pass as he was telling the king how he restored a dead body to life that behold the woman somebody said the woman at the right time whose son he had restored to life cried unto the king for her house and for her land and Gehazi said my lord O king this is the woman come on somebody I said this is the woman and this is her son whom Elisha restored to life verse 6 and appointed and when the king asked the woman she told him so the king appointed unto her a certain officer saying restore 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 all that was hers hallelujah and all the fruits of the field since the day I said since the day that she left the land even until now can I repeat the last phrase again restore I said restore all that was hers and all the fruits of the field since the day that she left the land even until now the word of almighty God come on give God praise for his words ladies and gentlemen I encourage you to value every prophetic word released to you from this ministry the time will come as the Bible declare that they will not endure sound doctrine so while the Spirit of God still resound in the man of God I ask you to keep following on hallelujah with his message entitled I have returned to get my stuff please help me make welcome God's special servant Bishop Dr. G.G. Cooper in care of the said Holy Ghost Ah, Jesus give the Lord a praise open up your mouth and tell the enemy I'm in the house this Sunday night to collect my stuff go ahead and do what you gotta do I can tell you what to do I just lead you stretch up your hand over your man of God oh, Jesus my father I have returned tonight uh -huh. according to Joel 2 to collect my stuff that the palmer worm and the canker worm and the caterpillar has eaten I come to return receive my latter rain I come to receive my special endowment of anointing I come to collect my back wages I come to collect the stuff that the enemy has stolen from my youth stolen from my adult life stolen from my ministry oh somebody praise him tonight somebody praise him let preaching come easy let deliverance flow i thank in christ's mighty name and you know what to do and be seated in your father's house it's a serious message it demands boldness i have returned to get my stuff The prophet Elisha was a mighty man of God. A mighty warrior. He moved in the prophetic order through prophetic revelation. Releasing prophetic direction and announcement to people who would be in contact with him. He was passing by the home 
of, a sh of the Shundamite woman. He often traveled that direction, passing her house on his journey every week. And so the woman, the Shundamite woman noticed this man of God and said to her husband, Honey, there's a holy man of God that passed by our house almost every week on his journey. Let us invite him in, invite him, invite him in for supper. We're going to put him upstairs, not in the basement. You need to put the man of God upstairs. Put a bed for him and a table and a lamp. I often travel outside this country. And I'm, I'm, I'm honored and blessed to sit for a while in the VIP lounge at the airport. And I look on everything on the wall. Dignitaries and poets and prime ministers and diplomats. But I have never seen a man of God. I have never seen the picture of a man of God. The woman recognized that she needed the presence of a man of God. And she didn't put him, look at my son, in the basement. He put, she put him, she put him in the room over the wall. You need a man of God over the nation. You need a prophetic man of God over your house. You need a prophetic man of God over your marriage, over your family. And so Elijah would, Elisha would look forward to lodge with this woman. And then she was a barren woman. She had no children. The servant of Elijah, Elisha was Gehazi. So one day the prophet Elisha said to Gehazi, go in and talk with the Shunammite woman. Ask her what can I do for her, for her kindness. Don't be stingy and mean to the man of God. Because he has a prophetic word in his mouth. The widow woman down at Zarephath that lodged Elijah did not know that the man of God had a prophetic word to speak over her meal barrel and over her crew of her. Be friendly with the master. Mary and Martha and Lazarus was friendly with the master. Always look after him, feed him, look after his garment. And so when death struck down in Bethany, all they had to do was to send for Jesus. Aren't you glad that you're a friend of God? And when trouble knocks at your door, all you have to do he said, Master, Master, come on here. <laughs> Sit down a minute, I got far to go. Woo. And so Gehazi went in and said, my, my Master Elisha, have asked me to convey a request. What would you ask, what would you ask of the prophet? Well, she could have asked for some gold bars and it would come. Some silver and it would come. Give me more lands and it would come. But she said, thy servant has no children. Speak into my life, O prophet of God. Speak into my womb, O man of God. Holy man of God, speak into my situation. And Elijah said, oh, all right, all right, all right. Calm down. Thus said the Lord God according to my word. In, my, in nine months, you're going, to you're going to have a male child. 
Give thanks and bless your God for he has heard your prayer. The child was born within nine months but after a while the child died in the field. Anything God gives you cannot die. If God give you a praise and a worship, it cannot die. If God sp speak your miracle and your breakthrough, there's not a devil in Jamaica that can keep you down and hold you down. Somebody worship. According to Jewish tradition, the child should be buried within 24 hours. But she said to her husband, the man of God gave us, spoke this child into our life. Saddle your ass. Go yonder and find the man of God and tell him his grandson has fallen hill in the field, hit by a sunstroke. And he's lying on his bed. Tell him, come now. Death is in the house. Do I hear somebody saying, Master, come now. The devil is out to kill me. Master, come now. I feel the Holy Ghost. Do you know <laughs> that nobody can substitute for the that nothing can substitute for the anointing so the man of God was busy you're not really you're not feeding you know I know when you're drinking in this stuff I mean Shema you're really following me tonight <laughs> nobody can do for you what the anointing can do So the man of God said, Gehazi, take my rod, lay it on the dead boy, nose to nose, eye to eye, and command him to live. Gehazi did that, came back, stop that boy. Gehazi came back, he said, Master, nothing happened. I must go myself. I'm thinking tonight that God raised up Noah after the flood but nothing happened. Can I preach what I'm hearing? Then he said he sent Seth but nothing happened. Send Lamech but nothing happened. Raise up Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But nothing happened. Oh God, help me here. Raise up Moses and Joshua. Rose up the kings and the judges. Raised up the prophet. But they could not atone for sin. Send Elijah. Send Isaiah, raise up Jeremiah, but they could not atone. Raise up Abaka, Zephaniah, Mordic, Mordecai, but they could not atone for your sin because Cain's mark was in our forehead. We were Cain's kid, we were marked for destruction. Send. Oh, you're not preaching. Send John the Baptist. But he could wipe out the mark. Lord God. Oh, yes. So, one day, when heaven was filled with his praises, God said, who will go down and redeem mankind? And the heavens were silent for three hours then came for am I running on automatic the 
then came forth a man born from a virgin named Jesus hallelujah he came down to wipe the mark of Cain from off of my forehead somebody said the mark of shame the mark of defeat the mark of hell is removed from my forehead sit down let me preach <laughs> gg go back get back to your text and so elijah said i must go myself so elijah might have borrowed an horse and rode back to the home of the shundamite woman may i tell you if you are a worshiper and a praiser and a giver the man of god will ride back to your house if you're a praiser and a worshiper if you live right and live righteous call him call him call oh yeah masata call him he'll come back to your house he'll come back to your situation somebody praise him yes yes say yes sit down a while and when she came back when he came back rather he went upstairs stretch, stretched himself upon the boy nose to nose highball to highball chest to chest legs to legs and the boy sneezed and elijah said boy you're not following me in the holy ghost pick him up turn him around give him to his mama come on somebody tell the devil i might be down but there's a prophet in the house you might come to knock talk, attack me but i got a man of god with a prophetic word in his mouth you can't kill what god has appointed to live you can't kill a seed for a seed will always grow tell the enemy you forget i'm a seed a seed from god anywhere you show me i will bounce back i'm anointed to live i'm destined to live shout i'm destined are oh, you lost sit down please and so elisha rode on now this time said so this time something stupendous and catastrophic was about to happen i don't have time for i don't have time for eyeglass let me preach to people who are online waiting for a prophetic word elijah said shundamite woman shundamite woman thank you sir leko shata once i came to your house and spoke a prophetic word she said yes man of god did it manifest she said yes man of god man of god said you see i see something in the prophetic realms i see in the spirit that god is going to send a famine pack up your stuff and go yonder into the country of the philistines until the famine is over seven years she said my respect 
holy man of God I will do as you have told the problem with some of you this problem with some of you in the house and some of you watching me externally you're not doing what the prophet said you're not responding to the anointing but some is some are rather some are yesterday a little lady said bishop you spoke and here's my key I'm a self-employed young lady you spoke a new vehicle at first they wouldn't give me they rejected my application but they text me <laughs> and here's the key it seemed like you're lost from a new vehicle somebody praise cut here's another young lady she said bishop bless my new house here's a key to my new house you spoke over me another one i had three miracles yesterday another lady she came right here and sat down for quite a while she said bishop here's my passport you remember a couple weeks ago i came up to your office and i was weeping because they refused to give me the work permit for the united states but bishop they text me and told me bring back your passport do i have a worship in the house when your spirit speaks to me you ain't got nothing up there with my whole heart i'll agree and my answer will be yes lord yes say yes to everything you promised me tell the lord yes for my prophetic instruction yes to my prophetic revelation yes to my sunday night miracle yes for that job that you promised me yes for that open door that you promised me yes to that visa that you promised me yes to my wife to my husband tell him yes sit down and so i said and so the woman was away for seven years seven years in the prophetic order is god's mean of means of visitation god the holy ghost would keep her for seven years how many know that famine is coming how many know that famine is coming for the word in Amos 8 and verse 11 for I will send a famine said the Lord not for bread nor for water but for hearing the word that is why we are stockpiling revelatory preaching you can sit down with your deaf ears like 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 that like a scorpion I stung you in your eardrum I am preparing and storing up on hard drives come on somebody revelatory preaching so when the hour come and we can't open the doors we got some stuff in storage like joseph we are storing up for famine good god almighty sinner so when the woman was leaving she left her house she left her vineyard she left her fruit tree she left everything and she spent seven years do you know how many people have left their stuff and when they return it's gone leave my wife but when i return i find her in their arms of another man left my land when i come back i see people divided 
and houses on your property. Good God Almighty, left my bank book in my drawer. When I come back, family members found it and by some fraudulent means took out every penny. Good God Almighty, left my clothes and my shoes, left my fridge and my freezer. When I come back, everything gone. I come to tell you tonight there are some oh God before I get there once had my joy once had my praise once had my worship once had my hallelujah but some bad man church people and some bad man preacher provoke me and cause me to dry out dry out my joy dry out my praise dry out my blessing and I come back as a backslider I come back for my stop tell the enemy I come back for my praise come back for my job come back for my anointing come back for my offering woman get up and tell the devil I come back where I I can't hear myself I come back for my anointing the conquer worm and the palmer worm and the caterpillar has eaten my joy eaten my praise took my health and gave me sickness but I come back from retirement come back from the famine I want my house I want my land I want my vineyard I want my fruit trees tell the king Personally, I've lost some stuff and I come to get it tonight. Sit on a minute. Sit on. After seven years, the woman returned. Do I hear somebody said, I shall return? Those are some familiar political words. There was a time when the former Prime Minister, the Honorable P.J. Patterson, fell out with the government and he had to resign. But while he was on his way, he said, P.J. Patterson shall return. He had to return to Bill Highway 2000 so that I could get to church on time every time i drive on it my mind reflects on him if he hadn't done anything he helped organize highway 2000 yes yes do i hear somebody said some witch and some bad mind people drove me out of the church but i have returned to my father's house and I want back my house. I want back my fruit tree. I want back my vineyard. I want back my praise. I want back my worship. I want back my standing. Somebody said I come to collect my stuff. Shout. You don't want nothing, boy. You don't want nothing. I see you don't want nothing. You don't want nothing over here. Sit down. Sit down, children. When she came back from famine, house was gone. 
her fruit trees everything was gone and she said me now lie down and take his son excuse the English me now lie down and make the devil rob me of my house brother Brown I am not gonna lie down and let no witch drive me from my house I am not gonna lie down and let no witch send me to Riverview or Bellevue shout sit down the problem with you and some of you listening the devil has robbed you of your birthright of your God given inheritance the devil has robbed you of where you used to live in God and you sit down crying and but I come to tell you it's time to come back home like the prodigal son come out from the pig's pen come out of the pig slop tell yourself I'm going back home to my father's house I'm going back home to my father's mansion I'm going back home do I hear somebody say I'm coming home and I want my attention sit down and when the woman came home stay with me and feed when she look and she said there is this survey peg and over here is another peg and down there is another peg but somebody else is occupying my house when she looked somebody else was occupying her heart chart and you think she sit down and take it like some of you you think she sit down and take it like some of you come to church with your mouth closed she said no i'm heading up to big house tell the enemy i'm heading up to big house i'm looking to the hills from whence come at my help sit down and she said I'm going up to King's house and when she came to King's house the guards said you can't go in she said there's not a devil gonna stop me from going in and after arguing for a while they let her in and she salute his royal majesty she said live forever your royal majesty I am your daughter's servant. I once lived in this place. But the man of God gave me a word to save my life. And I sojourned for seven years into the country of the Philistines. And now I come back. My house is gone. My land is gone. My vineyard is gone. And the king wouldn't pay her any man. And she caught she start to holler. Live forever. Oh, your royal majesty, I come to get back my house. I come to take back my stuff. I want back my vineyard. I want back my house. I want back my property. I want back my grove. Somebody holler. Tell the Lord. Somebody mess with my blessing i don't hear nothing down here lord lord everything you bless me with is gone john 10 and verse 10 the thief came in to steal and to kill everything I have is gone my passport with my visa is gone 
my children's clothes gone I see Job coming up my oxen my camels my mules my sheasses my children they are gone and Job said I'm not going to sit down and put up with this you can't take man stuff like this tell the devil you can't take women stuff like this tell the devil you can't mess with my things like this come on now all my appointed time I'm gonna wait till my change come somebody holler my change is coming my change has to come my deliverance has to come my miracle has to come my breakthrough has to come my job has to come my money has to come my house has to come because my daddy said if I serve him right with blessing he will bless me and in multiplying he will more oh. I'm preaching to people who have lost some stuff I'm preaching to people whom the palmer worm the conquer worm the caterpillar famine bad living wicked people poison out people hope you're working people steal your stuff destroy your stuff malign and ridicule you blackmail blackmail your good name blackmail your integrity blackmail I'm preaching to preachers who have had their pulpit taken from them I'm preaching to preachers who've been lied upon and been thrown out of the pulpit I come to tell you that God is going to give you twice as much somebody help me twice as much and when the woman continued to cry the king said Gehazi tell me about your master Elisha tell me how he brought the baby back from dead and as he was telling the king the woman appeared and the king said to the captain you see that woman over there return our house Lord God Almighty Jesus Christ help me return our land return our grove return our property return our stuff tell the enemy the Holy Ghost is making intercession to my father on my behalf give me back my stuff give me back my finance give me back my joy give me back my marriage give me back my children give me back my peace give me back stand everybody if you don't want nothing you sit on there if nothing has been stolen from you the service is not where you belong some people believe because you are a drop out and you live you're living in hard times they believe that's where you're going to stay forever but there comes a time when the holy ghost said girl get up touch your neighbor and said the lord said get up take a walk to the palace cry out cry out if you can cry out you can come out if there's a woman to cry there's a guy
God to answer. If there's a man to cry, there's a God to deliver. If there's a church to worship, there's a God that will restore you. Somebody worship, somebody worship. Somebody worship, somebody worship. As I wind down, I said as I wind down on revival time, I hear the Lord God Almighty speaking from Jewel 2 and verse 25. And I will restore to you, to you, touch your neighbor and say, God is talking to us. I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten. Come on, woman of God. And the conquer worm, and the palmer worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, and the caterpillar. My great army, I will send among you. Somebody declare, restoration is coming. Miracle revival is coming. Tell the poison mount, my prosperity. God promised me to increase me. Shout increase. Shout increase. Shout restoration. Shout restoration. Shout restoration. Shout increase. Say devil, everything that you stole from me and my family, you got to bring it back. I don't know how. But you got to bring it back. Bring back my money. Bring back my integrity. Bring back my anointing. Bring back my miracle. Bring back my revelatory inside. Tell the enemy, bring it back. Bring it back. Woman, bring it back. And I hear the Lord saying in Jewel 2 and verse 26 You shall eat in plenty Somebody declare Jewel 2 26 You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied And praise the name of the Lord your God That hath dwelt wondrously with you Look at your neighbor and say God said my people shall never be ashamed I don't hear nobody up here saying nothing I don't hear nobody down there saying nothing my people shall eat in plenty and we shall praise the name of the Lord and we shall never say never woman of God tell the enemy you don't want nothing woman you sit down there the rest of you wave on the bishop the rest of you wave on so as i wind down some people had written you off they say you finish you are zero you'll never make it from the zinc fence they said you'll never make it out of scarlet road they said you'll never make it out of jungle out of rima out of jonestown they said you'll never make it out of spanish town but tell the devil look at me tonight I made it I made it by the blood of the eternal God come up church I made it through my worship through my praise I made it through the word of the man of God I made it from the house of favor I made it 
from the house of praise I made it from the house of deliverance I made it from the house of signs wonders and miracles tell yourself by the grace of God somebody throw up your two hands and say Lord from Psalm 52 from Psalm 51 and verse 12 I cry unto you this night restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and withhold me with the right spirit tell the Lord restore the right anointing the right spirit restore everything that I lost from my childhood restore my dignity restore my operation restore my anointing restore my purpose restore my anointing restore stretch up your hands everywhere everywhere and in the house and outside the house inside the house and outside the house pray with me so oh lord god my king and my master i have returned from spiritual famine from spiritual complacency from spiritual backsliding I've returned from careless living and careless lifestyle I'm coming back into your house your house of praise your house of miracle your house of deliverance and my God everything show up your hands that I have lost since I leave your house I come back to collect my worship my praise my healing my joy my breakthrough my miracle my blessing tell him thanks go ahead go ahead and tell him thanks go ahead and tell him thanks amen neighbor my time has gone and revival time on today's broadcast i thank you so very much for worshiping with us this broadcast will live on even when i'm gone so declare and decree i've come home to take up my rightful position until next week at the same time through the facilities of these fine stations that release its revival time your direction your man of God brother Gigi thank you for being with us and may the restoration power of God reaches you Amen